New Jack City was released in 1991, was directed by Mario Van Peebles and it stars Wesley Snipes, Ice-T, Judd Nelson, Mario Van Peebles and Chris Rock. This film tells the story of Nino Brown, a Harlem drug dealer who has taken over an apartment complex called the Carter and is using this building to sell drugs to various people. And it is up to two row cops, played by Ice-T and Judd Nelson, who wish to take Nino Brown at all costs. As always guys, thanks for supporting this channel. Please keep on supporting it. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow this channel. Hit that alarm bell as well so you can get notifications from me when my video is gonna be uploaded and help give this video a like as well. New Jack City was released in 1991 and at the start of that year, there were a lot of films that followed the same trajectory and pattern of New Jack City, which was inner city issues with all black casts. And we saw films such as Boys in the Hood, Deep Cover, Menace to Society, Juice, Dead Presidents, Above the Rim. All of these films dealt with that particular genre, but New Jack City was particularly different. It sets itself apart from those types of films because New Jack City, in my opinion, is more action driven. It doesn't focus on the narrative of growing up in the hood. This is about two cops wanting to take down a major drug lord. New Jack City certainly has a different type of feel to other films that were released at that time. It captures the era perfectly. New Jack City was set in 1986 and you can see that there is a slight conflict in the time frame and more importantly that the clothing that people are wearing. You can see that people have haircuts that were so 90s. The era is caught perfectly. Reaganomics is mentioned throughout the film. You get to see the decay and the effect that crack cocaine had on the black community in the 80s. This film was the directorial debut of Marion Van Pebbles and Marion Van Pebbles is a brilliant filmmaker. He is the son of legendary filmmaker Melvin Van Peebles who was a major contributor to black cinema and was a pioneer in black filmmaking. And Warner Brothers at the time did not want to give Mario the directorial duties for this film. He didn't have any directorial credits to his name and I didn't want to give somebody with no directorial credits to helm an $8 million film. But Clint Eastwood stepped in. And Clint Eastwood and Marilyn Pebbles worked together on a film called Heartbreak Ridge. And Clint Eastwood had a long-standing relationship with Warner Brothers. He was responsible for the Dirty Harry films, amongst others. And he said, give this kid a shot. And they did. And it was a risk that was worth taking because it was an impressive film debut as a director. Capturing the nuances, capturing the frustration and the anger that the black community was facing at that time regarding drugs. And Mario's eye for detail, capturing decaying buildings, capturing the crack addicts, capturing just the negative effect. There was one heartbreaking scene where Ice-T's character was standing outside a school and you can see crack rocks next to the school playground. New Jack City is a very fast paced film. And at 96 minutes, it doesn't overstate its welcome and it captures everything that it needs to do. This film was co-written by Barry Michael Cooper. And Barry Michael Cooper would go on to write Above the Rim and he would go on to write another film that was released in 1994 that would reunite him with Wesley Snipes called Sugar Hill. Wesley Snipes, for me, the standout star of this film, on commanding form as Nino Brown. You can almost call New Jack City a black version of Scarface and there are references to Scarface throughout the film. That film is shown in different segments of New Jack City. Wesley Snipes has great range. And as I said, when I did my review of Jungle Fever, he's known more for his action films, but he has demonstrated great dramatic abilities. And he certainly did that with New Jack City. He showed how cold he can be, playing Nino, how intense and how menacing he could be. And he was just having a ball with this film. And he certainly was the high point for me. And we get to see Nino in a variety of roles, i.e. dancing, rolling around naked with the flyest of women, to killing people, to intimidating people. He was just on top form and this was easily one of his best roles. You can almost say that New Jack City is based upon a true story because the crew that Nino leads was based upon the Chambers brothers. They were a group that operated in Detroit who were responsible for selling crack cocaine and they too took over an apartment complex in Detroit and they used that complex to start selling drugs to various people. The supporting cast in this film was great. Ice-T as Scotty. Ice-T was one of the first rappers at that time to successfully transition from rap music to an acting career. He and LL Cool J both had the same trajectory at the same time. LL Cool J had a small role in Wildcats. Ice-T had a small guest role in Breakdance 2. And in 1991, they both starred in high profile films. Whereas LL Cool J's role was more of a supporting role, 
Ice T's role was more prominent. LL Cool J starred in a film called The Hard Way. Ice T starred in New Jack City. Ice T was good in this role. And what was funny was he didn't want to play a police officer because he had a bad relationship with him. But this is the same guy that's been starring in Law and Order for the past 20 years. But I liked the character that he played. And Ice T's character, Scotty, has a link to Nino. Once Scotty infiltrates Nino's gang, they're having a discussion and Scotty realizes that his mother was murdered and it was actually Nino that did that as part of a pledge to a gang that he was joining at that time. That added an emotional layer. So find support from Judd Nelson and Marion Van Pebbles, both who had supporting roles in this film. We also see a very young Chris Rock as Pookie, the crackhead. And for what he did, I thought it was very good. Chris Rock can do dramatic roles very well. And he certainly did that with Pookie. And what was so interesting was in, inside the actor's studio, he said that after he finished playing that role, people were actually offering him crack to smoke. The rest of the supporting cast are great. Nino's crew, venerated actors such as Alan Payne, Vanessa Williams, you have the late great Bill Nunn as the Dada Man, who starred with Wesley Snipes in Mo Better Blues and then would star in another Wesley Snipes vehicle in 1995, Money Train. And we also see Christopher Williams, an R&B star. New Jack City is a groundbreaking film because it was one of the first films to use hip hop music, rap music, as part of its storyline, as part of its narrative, and as part of its soundtrack to bring rap music to a wider audience. In the 80s, it was pop music. In the 90s, it was more hardcore. And you could see that trend follow in the years to come as other films were released and they had rap music featured prominently in its soundtrack and within the film itself. New Jack City is just an excellent watch. At the time, one of the highest grossing independent films of the year, received very, very well by critics and Nearly 30 years on, it's a shame that there is a planned remake, which Wesley Snipes wants no part of and has not supported in any way, shape or form, and rightly so. If you were to release this film today, it would still hold. Themes that were captured in that film, regarding drugs and the impact on certain communities, it can still hold its own to this day. Great performances from Wesley Snipes, Ice-T, who, like LL Cool J, paved the way for other rappers to successfully make a transition into the acting world, i.e. Will Smith, Ludacris, Ice Cube, and so forth. And New Jack City has spawned many imitations from Paid in Full to Clockers. So many other films owe a debt to New Jack City. Even Lil Wayne's rap label is called Cash Money, named after New Jack City's group. So it has impacted many aspects of black culture. This is a film that is very, very necessary to black cinema, and it's an influential piece of work. Brilliant performances, great soundtrack, great direction, and overall, a really good storyline. So I'll give this film a very strong eight out of 10. So guys, that's my review. As always, thanks for supporting this channel. Please keep on supporting it because there'll be more reviews coming. Hit that subscribe button so you can follow this channel. Hit the alarm bell as well so you can get notifications for me when my video is gonna be uploaded. Give this video a like as well. Leave your comment with what is your favorite scene from New Jack City. Comment down below and I shall see you all in the next film review. Take care.